Harper is not happy. And he's gone. And the Nats have one man left on the bench other than Wilson Ramos, and that's Dan Ugla. So an infielder is probably going to have to go into the outfield and play. You know, Bryce was running hard out of the box there. He wasn't sure he got it going down to get it like that. And that thing just had another gear. Let's see if this is down. I thought it was. Yeah. Shift is on. And Marvin Hudson hearing about it from the Nats dugout. Matt Williams is telling it's down. You know, they can see high low from over there. And out is Matt Williams. Or was it Harper? Well, if it's Bryce Harper, that, that's not good. Bryce Harper, it appears, has been it's tossed. It's something about getting in the box. This is about getting in the batter's box. He told Bryce to get in the batter's box, and he didn't, and he threw him out. He said, you can't throw him out for that. And look, read Matt Williams' lips. He's talking about the batter's box. Well, Bryce is gone. You know that. The helmet, the bat, and Mike Winters tossed him immediately. One out, bottom of the 10th. Chris Heisey, the only man the Nats have left on the bench. And that's exactly why that can't happen. So let's check it out on pitch track, the fastball to Bryce Harper for strike three. He had a legitimate argument, but maybe the helmet toss was a hair excessive, and there's no umpire that's going to let you stay in the game when you do that. Next up, Anthony Rendon. Strike three, fastball, and Harper is going to be ejected. And you knew that was coming. That's the second time that Harper has really had a problem with the Hunter Wendelstedt's call earlier in the game. The pitch that we thought was a strike on the outside corner, and Harper is gone, and he strikes out for the second time. Well, another pitch on the outer half, and another pitch Bryce Harper didn't think was strike three, and he and Hunter Wendelstedt have not. Anything else. Mm. And he's down looking on strikes for the first out. Five strikeouts for Mats. He's not happy with Mark Carlson. I think more about strike two than anything else. Fastball, fastball, fastball. Oh, somebody got thrown out. That was Bryce Harper, I think, that got thrown out of the ball game. Unless it's Gabe. No, nope, it was Bryce, because here comes Bryce Harper. Dusty Watkins coming here as well. This is the most heated I think we've ever seen Gabe. And Danny's going to be called out on a high slider at the top of the zone, one out. And somebody's been tossed. I think it might have been Bryce. They're holding Bryce back. This is where Dusty's going to go, too. Ryan Knight, 16-year veteran, has tossed Bryce Harper. It appears Dusty's going to get his money's worth. That's costly if this game goes on. Target away. There's the fastball. See, that's the intensity of this at bat coming out on a bad call. He is so locked in, he lives for these situations. 
And that's the first time I've seen him snap on it up in a long time. What do you got, pitch cast? It looked down to me. Four line pitch. I got to regroup if you're Bryce, but that's that's just the moment right there. He is locked in. Swing and a miss on the fastball at 98. And Bryce Harper's been tossed. He slams down his bat, gets in Chris Siegel's face, and now he's going to further demonstrate where the strike zone is. Well, he knew that was going to happen. If he Terrible. Here's the knees. Watch where he catches this ball. Keep going. Roll it. Right there. I mean, that ball almost hits the dirt. So I got Bryce on that. Ideally, you can't let strike one affect your at bat, but you know Bryce Harper and how intense he is, and you knew if he didn't get the run in, he was getting thrown out of this game. I thought it, I didn't say it, I didn't want to jinx it, but you knew it was going to happen. That's twice. And that's so bad, I think, is what he said. 